Hello people, what was so weird today? I'm eating longan. Longan is uh, very tasty. I'll show you this fruit. Very sweet people. Skin. Inside is a white longan because the seed of this fruit looks like the eye of the dragon. Long means dragon in Chinese. Nan is eye. The eye of the dragon. Fruit looks like this. And you eat it. This is a small seed. The first time when I ate this, that was the, the house, grandma's house. Every time when there's a family reunion, I know she will buy long now. A good memory to share. My grandpa was always in the kitchen to prepare the food for her tonight. He prepared the family's dinner. My grandfather was a cook. <laughs> he was um, responsible for grilling meats and wing sauces. For example, um, he was good at roasting duck and roasting pork. Was his specialty, like making the pork belly is crispy. It's funny to think back, because most of the time, my father spent a lot of time in the kitchen. Even when at home, he was in the kitchen, while well, there are a lot of family uh, members at the family reunion, family gathering, I don't know how you call it, but... If I can compare this with lychee, I think this is more fresh and more taste. I like the sweetness. It was like 20 years back. If I think about 20 years back, the family reunion is much more different than the family reunion of now. family are in Hong Kong, China, but I think they think about uh, to go to the Netherlands because the life is much more better in the Netherlands. They already sent, uh, like my uncle and uh, aunt has sent their daughter to the Netherlands. Another uncle and aunt has informed me, asked me about the prices of the house in the Netherlands. I told them it's just not uh, difficult. As long as you work hard. But what you should know, I say, the reality of what you want is more different than the reality of the outcome. It's like people say they want to be rich, they want a career, they want to make money, but the outcome is much more different than your own wish. So um, my aunt and uncle, they wanted to buy a house for their daughter. I gave them the financial advice. And apparently 
that vibe. I said, you are not going to buy a house for your daughter because you don't want that. Because that little girl, that little girl is 20 years old. That little girl is not gonna learn from the experience. If when you, you want to live in the Netherlands and you already bought a house for this little girl of 20 years old she gonna not own the value of the reality she's not going know the value of the money she's not going know the value of the house I say, you know, money doesn't come from the sky. You have work for it. If you want to live in the ne Netherlands, I think it's important you learn the language. You speak Dutch. You need to know the culture. Because culture is different. In the Netherlands, if you want to be a Dutchie, you must be spontaneous. You know how to represent yourself. You let things know you let people know about your opinion about sub subjects it's more different than where she comes from she comes from Hong Kong China I think it's important to stand up for your own opinion especially when you want to live in the Netherlands you want to represent like your product and you make what bond beat make people believe in your own product or Value as an employee. It's not easy. I try to explain. It's something difficult when you come from something else to start over again. For me, like for me, uh, when my grandma and grandfather comes to, came to the Netherlands, they didn't spoke uh, the language, but did it make their life easier? I don't think so. After 60 years, they didn't speak the language. It is just uh, difficult to survive because you don't know the law. You don't know what's uh, the financial rules. Everything goes by the rules. That's why I want to say when people see it goes very good with you. They think too much more easy because um, uh, people see me doing good in life. First, people uh, in my own network, in my own environment, they made a joke about uh, where I live, they, but they didn't they know. What they didn't know, the outcome, the value of this house raised by 20%, you know, and that is the difference. <laughs> Don't always look at the beginning, but look at the outcome. Long term, where you want to go, like for about 10 years. What happens about 10 years, you don't know, but you can predict something when you do the math. <laughs> My family once wanted me to go back to Hong Kong, China, and I said to them, No. It's not gonna happen. I stay in the Netherlands. The outcome. I'm very happy that uh, um, a country where I born and raised in the Netherlands. I stay in the Netherlands.
As long as you work hard, you believe in yourself, you do the things you love, it makes you happy. And this is always gonna be. Beautiful life. I made a lot of best big mistakes in my life, but I learned from my mistakes. Investment in properties. Investments in crypto. Just ready to the math. It was know what you do. Don't be liable on people. Don't look just what people think or form your own opinion. Do your own research. People say to you what you have to buy in the Netherlands. For like uh, example, you when you want to buy a house in the Netherlands, a lot of people cannot afford a home. A lot of people cannot afford to rent a home. A lot of people cannot buy a home or a house when they own, even when they were with the two people. Is it luck? I do think so. It's 50 50. Luck, knowledge, experience, and the value. Some houses are overpriced. Some rooms, people pay for rooms for like 1000 euro a month rent. I don't pay rent. I used to pay rent, like 500 euros a month. But now, when you buy a house, you, you have to only pay the loan. 750 euros is not much in comparison. People pay 1000 euros for rent. My in laws. They bought a studio, an apartment, a small apartment. Um, just they have neighbors. It's like a lot of students live in these apartments. They bought an apartment that was a bad investment. They they paid a lot. So uh, they bought like for three hundred thousand euros for this kind of apartment. Three hundred thousand. With three hundred thousand euro, you can buy a villa. You can buy an undetached house. So that was overpriced. So that was a bad investment. So my father-in-law came to me. They asked. He asked for financial advice. He made a few times a joke. He want to place a house in my garden. In my garden, I can build 10 houses. So, yeah. I said to him, that's not how it's gonna work in life. Because I give you a few times of financial advice. He made a joke about placing a house in my garden so he can go retire. So I said to him, this is not gonna work like that. I gave you a few times of financial advice, you didn't listen. The price of 300,000 euro for living with a lot of neighbors, that's the same price like a villa. Like the same price like a, living in a villa in the Netherlands. 
So, be smart, think, do the math, do the research before you do things. This is like a simple example of when you don't do research. <laughs> Give financial advices to elderly people. Elderly people like 50, 60 years, 60 years. When you're old, means doesn't mean you're experienced. Because mostly they rely on opinion of other people. They don't do research or predictions from what's happened tomorrow or predictions from what's what's now because if you don't think about the long term of 10 years 20 years you just look at the predictions of what's happened today so be wise my friend This was tasty. This was really tasty. I'm gonna save it for later. I think one, two, three, four, four portions left. So I hope you enjoyed the story. See you. And I hope you can f this tips works for you. If you come to the Netherlands, and if you don't go to the Netherlands, you go to another country or you find a uh, own host place for yourself. Do your research, do the math, and look at the value if it's worth it. <laughs>